When I started in the fall of 94, we were still fully a commuter campus. My best friend and soror, Dr. Conchetta Williams, and I, we both graduated from Rich East, and so I remember we were driving from the south suburbs, and it was our first day of class, and we were so scared. We were like, oh my God, you know, this is college. We can't believe we're beginning college. And if you're from Chicago in the Chicago area, you know the huge kind of social, perceived social differences between people who grew up in the suburbs versus people who grew up in the city. And I'm like, oh my God, we're like, we want to school in the city. So we had each other's schedule. We're like, okay, your class is at this time, my class is at this time. We mapped out when we had breaks. It was just so funny that we were so incredibly nervous. And I can still remember when we had that break, maybe around 11 or 12, we almost ran into each other's arms over in the Robinson Center, like we made it. And the experience just got better from there. My current profession, I am a professor of sociology and I work here at, at Chicago State University. Some of the same experiences that students are having today, trying to negotiate and navigate, navigate things, I had then and so I can help them with those things. Um, so I think that me having had that experience breaks down the barrier between myself and a lot of my students. I have the ability to have very candid conversations with our students. And also being a sociologist, I understand cultural capital and social capital and the role that that plays in actually attaining monetary capital, right? Chicago State University is positioned to offer students a very unique experience. And I think that we have a greater understanding of the needs of first-generation college students. I think a lot of the programming that we offer a lot of the support systems that we offer are, offer are specifically designed around meeting those needs of first-generation students. We got you.